I'll be a member for District of Bay of Islands. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I stand today to read a petition from the residents of York Harbor, Lark Harbor, and Route 50 concerning the hazardous road that, uh, that they find themselves into after countless attempts to try to have uh, some repairs done by the Minister of Transportation and Works, the former minister, I should say. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'll, I'll read the petition. Whereas uh, we are concerned over the deplorable condition of Route 450, and whereas many residents up the town of Lark Harbor and York Harbor travel this road on a daily basis, and whereas after repeated requests for upgrades and repairs, the road has continued to be deteriorate. And whereas there is only one road in and out of these communities, and many of our residents are on an aging, are off an aging population with health issues, and whereas having the, sound, the road completely give way will pose a whole set of issues. And whereas we feel that the conditions of this road presents an incident accident waiting to happen, whereupon the undersigned, your petitioners, humbly pray and call upon the House of Assembly to urge the government of Newfoundland and Labrador to give serious consideration to making repairs to this road. And in duty bound, your petitioners will ever pray. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I brought the concerns of this road up to this government and to the former minister for over a year. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have numerous letters, I have numer numerous correspondence about the condition of this road. Uh, the current minister is looking at some small measures that, that can be done now because uh, of the lateness in the year, and, and I thank him for that. But there are two or three areas, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Speaker, that are very, very dangerous. Out by Copper Mine Brook, there, there's, there's a dip now which, which is a very, safe, very much of a safety hazard. Uh, the speed has been reduced from uh, 80 uh, down to 30 kilometers. Uh, there's a dip in the road with a road that gave way, which is, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, which if, you, if someone didn't know and, and weren't aware of it, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, it's uh, definitely a opportunity for a serious accident. Um, there are parts of the road 450 uh, that we had with the major flooding and damage last March. Last March, Mr. Speaker, I wrote the, the, the government, wrote the minister on these here. I got correspondence back, Mr. Speaker, saying yes, it will be fixed. Got correspondence back later, or oh, we're hoping to get a fix. The government at the time, it's a responsibility upon any government to keep the residents safe. One of the reasons that you keep them safe is keep the road conditions in a way whereby it's passable and it's safe. They're not asking for any luxuries, absolutely no luxuries. This is just a safety concern. I urge the government, I call upon the government. It has been brought to their attention. The residents now are very active. The town councils are very active. And I urge the government to do what they can to ensure that these roads are safe. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.